I'm Johnny from Expert Boxing. Right now I'm going to show you guys how to throw snapping punches. Uh, snapping punches is something that the more experienced fighters usually do. I mean it's the standard for, for all, especially uh, competing amateur boxers. Now the two kinds of punches are snapping punches and pushing punches. Pushing punches are generally not as effective and it's usually the punches that most beginners like to throw. So pushing punches like this where you push and, and you, you see how I'm pushing through. A lot of fighters do this because they think that it transfers more power, that it creates more damage because you're pushing all the way through. Uh, it, it doesn't work that way. I mean, if I, if I stop the ground and then keep trying to push my foot into the ground, the push doesn't do anything. It's the first strike that, that really causes the damage. Beyond that, pushing doesn't, doesn't do that much. Okay, So if you push, you're just spending a lot of energy um, exerting force into his weight. You're not even, there, there's no velocity. The, the fist is already here and you're just trying to push it. It's like you, you're bench pressing or something. So it's not as powerful and it's not as fast. If you're always pushing, that means the time that you spent pushing, you're not pulling your hand back. So you have slower speeds, slower combinations, more energy wasted and less damage inflicted. The snapping punch is all about just letting the punch hit and it snaps. It, it snaps back. Okay. Now I'll break it down into three steps, three simple steps because I don't want to make a 30 minute video, but I should because it's, it's, a, it's a complicated subject. First is you got to be relaxed. If you're already loaded up like you're going to push something, it's going to slow down your hand. And if this, your hand's slower, that means you know, less power because speed is part of power. Now, so you want to stay relaxed, okay? You're not tense, you're not worried about form, you shouldn't be worried about hand rotation and all that. That's something that you, you should have gotten by now on, uh, through shadow boxing. Okay? You're relaxed, and then it's about a quick and a sharp explosion. Okay? Now listen to the sound of my breathing. It's psh, psh. Okay? I'm not going shh. Okay? Shh. That's a pushing shot. That's a waste of energy. Quick breath. Quick punch. Okay? Relaxed hand. Relaxed hand. A quick, sharp explosion. Now, when you make impact, as soon as you feel the impact, now I do tighten my fist, I tighten my fist right at the moment of the impact, and as soon as I feel the impact, I relax. So it, so it like releases the energy into there, into the opponent, and then my hand is now snapping back to me. I'm letting my hand bounce back to me naturally instead of artificially trying to push it through. It wants to come back. You let it bounce, okay? A good way to see is, um, I like to tell fighters to try and bounce your hand off the bag. So, okay? Now, if you try to bounce it, or, like by pulling it back too early, then you'll know there's no power. Okay, if I, okay, there's no power. Now, if I throw it really hard and I don't relax my hand, then it won't bounce back. It's, it's going to stay here. So, you want to throw it hard and then relax it so that it comes back. Okay? And now let's try it in combination. So you'll see how it looks. Snapping combination. Okay? It has that nice snap. It's a lot of power, a lot of speed. And when you do it right, you have more speed, you have more power, you have faster combinations because your, your hands are recovering back faster. Okay? And it uses less energy. So, there's so many benefits of snapping punches. It's they're far superior to pushing punches, and that's it. So, re okay, relax. Sharp explosion, and the sharp explosion is both the sharp explosion of muscle and sharp explosion of your breathing, and then release it so that your hand comes back naturally. And that's how you throw snapping punches. Thanks for watching.